remember everything, Jimmy. Every moment, every breath, every utterance, every touch, everything. I remember it physically. As though I could still feel her. The memories are tangible. Does that make any sense to you? But do you know what I remember most of all? Out of everything? I remember that I never said goodbye to her. I just buttoned up her coat and I kissed her on her head and told her that her dinner would be ready before too long so she shouldn't go too far. That's what I remember most of all, Jimmy. I won't ever forget that. It was very cowardly of you to leave like that, Jimmy. I had to deal with everything, Jimmy, on my own. I had to deal with packing her clothes away. I had to throw some of her stuff out. I wanted to keep it all, but some of it was just ridiculous. I wanted to keep a library card. Letters from her school. But I had to face up to the fact that it couldn't happen. On my own. So I took all the things that I couldn't keep or sell into a box. I took them to a skip and I threw them all away and you went there, you went there, Jimmy and I find it hard to forgive you for that I had to deal with, with the letters from her school friends and their visits and their cards and their gifts and I had to thank them and not break down and kiss their faces or scream at them, why couldn't it have been you? Because they were seven years old. And that would have been irrational and unfair and stupid. And I had to face their parents and everybody, her teachers, her swimming teacher. I had to go and tell her swimming teacher that she couldn't be coming to her classes anymore because she was dead, Jimmy. She was dead and I had to do it all on my own. And it was hard. And it wasn't fair. So I, I don't care. I don't care what you had to fucking deal with. I packed away all of her things. And I saw her buried properly. And I went back to my work. I carried on, Jimmy. I met Andrew, who looked after me ever so gently. The kind of gentleness that you could never understand. And you come here and you expect to come back into my life and that everything will be all right and that I will hear you out and forgive you so that you can go on with a clear fucking conscience. Well, you're wrong, Jimmy. You're so bloody wrong. You couldn't even believe it. <laughs>